invocation. <laughs> Sometimes you ask me what I want from a man. How will I know? How will I love? Your questions I cannot answer because I established barriers of standards because you were unimagined, unseen, an origin, thus would be sent to a sail and a lay. So instead, I pray that I am open to the flow of where to go. Maybe it is towards you, me like wandering Jew, trying to locate a promised land where there is no fallow sand or Pharisee prohibiting from seeing me and you, you and me, God and us. I trust love is not a terminus, but a destination, not a legend, but sacrosanct devastation of the dark and incomplete, a restoration of the weak. To inhabit a tabernacle delivering us from miasma into a bliss and beat. A cadence of yours and mine, a seamless chorale, a cosmic conversation of two voices assembling and ascending over and over and over again until we become kin, symbiotic as woman, as man into the universe. The cluster and the source, our combination and course, if I, you, we, let third eye spawn its light to fill us with what can be on earthen and imperial canvases. You and me in this interplanetary, interstellular bliss. Returning to the original premise of what is love, it stemmed from one original promise. Iris believing you past all consciousness. Iris believing you past all consciousness. Hence, it would make no sense to box you or box this within the definition of ever-changing, ever-rearranging in the interior of my soul, therefore the exterior of my goals. In knowing you as the man in spirit that you are and the God that talks and walks through your skin. To know you as my beloved and my kin. The parts that I root, retrieve, while small in heaven, when I call you by name, and now in tongue and spirit pronounce you